Good morning, everybody. Um, this is kind of a uh, different Gobby the Crockers, I guess. Um, one, I'm drinking a Sprite. Let's crack that open real quick. But I'm over here uh, in the woods. Everyone's over here exploring. Go explore. Go. And, uh, yeah, work, work, work. By the dirt. Uh, this is a new piece of property right here, and uh, I'm trying to buy as much property as I can around me. Lucky enough, it's not crazy expensive, so that's a huge plus. But this is on the opposite side of the road where I bought the other new property. So I got another two and a half acres on this side, and I am extremely excited, very, very happy for this. Uh, I honestly didn't know who was uh, selling it until last night. The, uh, well, some people came out to look at it and they got to drive through my gate. And so they pulled up right before dark and they kind of were looking and stuff. And uh, they wanted some more acres. They wanted to go. They wanted to uh, put a little hunting cabin come out on the weekends and stuff and whenever they left they didn't seem too interested so I didn't care too much and so I pretty much was just like hey who's selling it and so I uh, got the owner's information asked him how much fair price and got it and so uh, I'm very excited for this it's a uh, a new chapter but not really I probably won't do a whole lot on it uh, it has a totally different view out there at this way so i'm really considering chopping some trees down right out here and getting the awesome view i mean it's super cool and putting a little uh micro tiny house over here you know maybe if jared comes up or whatever he could do a little shed house over here he'd have an amazing view it would just be really really cool to have uh it's pretty much at the end of my hill so there's literally three properties left between the ones that I got. So if I could buy those, I'm doing really good. I just need to find the owner. Uh, but I know they haven't been out in years and years, so I might be able to get it. But, uh, yeah, this is awesome. It kind of fell in my lap. I didn't really, wasn't looking for it. And, well, I wasn't looking to get it, I guess. Well, technically, I, I had been wanting it. I just didn't know who owned it. And so the fact that... I was able to pick it up. I'm very excited for that. And uh, it gives me a lot more trees to cut down, use as firewood. Again, it's got an amazing view. It's really like right here. It's across the road from the property that I already bought. So I don't know. It's awesome. It's, it's something that this is why I try to save my money because you never know when stuff like this will pop up so now technically i think i have 10 or no i think i have five six seven eight 11 acres i think i have 11 acres total and uh it's just a little more and a little more each time so i'm super excited to uh potentially show you guys this property on the crocker show you a little bit of that and uh all that but yeah i it's going to be, I, I know you probably can't see with the GoPro, but uh, someone just does a bunch of like cattle and stuff. So it's just pasture and then way out in the distance you can see the hills and stuff like that. So again, it would be a really, really awesome little cabin over here, a little getaway. And if Jared does come up here part time, I think this would be perfect. It gets him away from right up on top of me he gets it's real secluded down here i mean there's a little hill that you can't even see the roadway down there so i don't know it's super awesome there is a lot of potential for this and uh my buddy over at kinfolk farm uh he says work 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 then buy that dirt and man that's what i've been doing is just working saving my money and you know buying this property and stuff and you know i've told you guys before I could potentially live here forever if I had to, but this isn't my most ideal property. Uh, I'll say this, if I keep buying 
all of this right here, it could turn into a potential property that I'd like to have for a long time. So, uh, yeah, it's exciting to get to this point, I guess, get to the point where I'm able to do this, I'm allowed to do this. Uh, it's exciting. It's It's something that, you know, years back I never would have expected. And then even moving to Oklahoma, I thought I was going to be stuck to that one spot. So, yeah, it's it, it's interesting. So, it, I don't know. Uh, I need y'all's help to think of some really cool stuff to do. Um, the tree I've been cutting, this isn't it, but it's really close to the tree that I've been cutting down for firewood. So, I will come in, clean this one up, cut it up, and all that. And then, uh, you know, I think that alone will clean, or uh, make a pretty big open area over here. And then, uh, again, I'm going to come in and cut. And then some of these trees may be good for the sawmill if I can get them out. I don't know if I'll be able to. I don't know if the four-wheeler can pull it out. But it's it's pretty steep. Uh, I'll say that. Whatever is built on it is going to have to be like on stilts and leveled out and stuff. But hopefully I can get the trees up. If not, then... I'll have to cut them in small pieces and just use it as firewood, which really and truly is never a bad thing. Uh, any tree that you need to cut down and move, you might as well use it for firewood if you can't put it on the sawmill. So, yeah, worst case scenario, these trees won't go to waste whenever I uh, cut them down. It'll just be firewood, which, yeah, I need. I need to just keep piling up, piling up, and then... Uh, if there are some good sections, I will mill them up because I think that'd be really cool. But I don't know. I'm just super excited. Again, this just fell in my lap. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, you just never know. And my mom and dad have always raised us to save money for a rainy day. You never know when you'll need it. And right now is my rainy day. Of course, I'm not in need of it. I didn't have to get it. But... The more property that I buy right here, the more it keeps people away. So that's what I'm like super excited about is it just keeps people away and it allows me to do my own thing out here. So I don't know. I bought more property. I don't know. I, I could have bought more camera equipment. I could have bought clothes. I could have bought... I don't know, stupid stuff. I could have bought anything I wanted, but I chose to invest in myself and invest in uh, land. Uh, you know, it's like Jacob says, they ain't making any more of it. So, you know, you, you buy what you can when you can. And I don't know, I just, I just, I guess I talk about it all the time, you know, invest in yourself, invest in you know, doing certain things and getting certain things and all that. And I just want to, you know, be, you know, what's the saying? Uh, preach something but you preach. Uh, I can't think right now. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Practice what you preach. And that's basically what I'm trying to do and show you guys is, you know, if you want something bad enough, you'll get it and you'll work hard and you'll do what you can. So, I mean, guys... I'm just a 35-year-old young guy out here on my own, busting my butt to do what I can to buy things that I want and invest in things that I want. And if I could do it, you guys can do it. And that's why I always, you know, say, you know, I had the extra podcast going on. And I'm not even making money on that, but I'm getting really close to being monetized. But, you know, all the irons that I have in the fire, it may not be a lot of money coming in, but it's enough to put together to get stuff like this and you know I think I talked about it on the podcast and I was never given anything I was never okay I take that back I was given the property from Dutch some people are like hey, we're giving I'm normally not given anything um that's the exception but uh normally I have to work my butt off and it's been that way since we were younger you know 14 15 years old getting jobs uh, mowing people's yards before that, washing windows, uh, doing anything and everything we could to make money. And now, you know, I'm doing what I can to make money, you know, trying to start the clothing line, getting the, uh, um, uh, no telling what they saw, uh, getting the podcast going, coffee the crockers, the crockers, all that. 
I, I do what I can to really put money in my pocket, I guess, uh, to better myself. Um, I'm not trying to be the richest guy in the world. I'm not trying to do any of that. I'm just trying to better my life and have the best life I can and invest in my future. And unfortunately, I know a lot of people, you know, my age, maybe a little younger, maybe a little older that don't do that. And I think it's crazy. So uh, yeah, this, this is going to be Crocker Mountain over here. It's going to be pretty cool, Crocker Hill. And I just couldn't be any more excited. I'm just I'm, I'm extremely pumped. I'm super pumped. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it and uh, get on my day. But hope you guys have an awesome day. And like Kinfolk Farmer Georgia says, if you haven't subscribed to him, go do it. Work, 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 then buy that dirt. So we'll see you all next time.